The Federal Reserve has slashed interest rates aggressively, announcing the first rate cut since March of 2020. The half-point move paves the way for lower borrowing costs on everything from mortgages to credit cards. It marks a crucial milestone for the central bank's historic inflation flight, which kept rates at a bruising 23-year high for more than a year. Now, President Joe Biden acknowledged the Fed's success at such a critical juncture, saying in a statement on X that we just reached an important moment. Meanwhile, stocks seesawed after that decision was announced. My colleague Sakshi has the details. Today, the Federal Open Market Committee decided to reduce the degree of policy restraint by lowering our policy interest rate by a half percentage point. This decision reflects our growing confidence that with an appropriate recalibration of our policy stance, strength in the labor market can be maintained in a context of moderate growth and inflation moving sustainably down to 2 percent. The Federal Reserve or the Central Bank of the United States has gone big with their first interest rate cut in four years. The Fed has slashed the key lending rate by 50 basis points to the target range of 4.75 and 5 percent. Remember, this is the first Fed rate cut since March 2020, and the Fed has kept lending rates at a two-decade high. Policymakers were debating the quantum of the rate cut given the state of the U.S. economy, with inflation easing and unemployment concerns persisting. Important to remember here that the decision to cut rates by 50 basis points was not unanimous, as the Fed governor had called for a 25 basis point cut. However, the Fed chair has said the Fed's goal is to ensure inflation remains stable and jobless rates don't tick higher. While some experts see this as an aggressive move by the U.S. Central Bank to stimulate the U.S. economy, others believe this was the need of the hour. So for those wondering what does the Fed's big decision mean for India at large, well, experts believe cheaper borrowing could not only boost demand in the U.S., but also globally. And they also feel that, look, this could also make investors look to India for more foreign investment. With reduced borrowing costs, the IT sector may also see increased demand in India, and cheaper financing is likely to boost rate-sensitive sectors, such as infrastructure as well.